Hi everybody, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to all of my patrons. My name's Neil and it's time for another episode of the University Challenge. We don't have much more to say at the beginning of these anymore guys. We're still deep in the quarterfinals. Two wins to move on, two losses to be eliminated. We are starting to, to lose teams and today we may get, I think in fact we will get our first team to qualify for the semi-finals. This is a match between Reading and Imperial, two teams that have looked like powerhouses so far. I think they both won their first quarterfinal matches, so the winner of this one should secure a spot in the semi-finals. Um, and who knows, this may, the, the cool thing about this double elimination quarterfinal is a match at this time could recur in the semifinals or even in the final down the road. So keep that in mind. I expect a really strong match from both teams here, a high scoring match if, uh, if we can keep the pace up. I just watched that 1987 semi-final where the, the grand total of scores between the two teams was over 700. And uh, it would I'd love to see a team take the, that energy from the 80s and apply it to today's quizzing. But uh, it's a little more deliberate and perhaps there's some more strategy in taking things slow, especially when you have the lead. Take some time to discuss that answer and uh, milk the clock a little bit. Nevertheless, let's jump into it. For those of you playing along at home, this is episode 30. I'll include the link in the description below for those of you who are uh, watching my full length reaction, reaction on Patreon. And uh, let's jump into it. Episode 30. This is Reading versus Imperial. Tonight we pass the halfway mark of our grueling quarterfinal stage. Whoever wins again tonight will take the first spot in the semis. Now the team from the University of Reading have an unblemished record up to now. They won comfortably against the universities of Strathclyde in round one and Dundee in round two. Their opponents, Imperial College London, have been metronomically consistent so far, winning all three of their matches with a score of more than 200 points. Fingers on the buzzers, here's your first start of a 10. What five-letter word begins expressions with these meanings? A statistical measure of student enrolment in education, a standard measure of the value of goods and services produced in a country during a certain period, and... Gross. Gross is correct. Etymologically unrelated words that begin with the same three letters. OK. Firstly, a modern-day country of the Americas whose territory was the target of the ill-fated 17th century colonization project known as the Darien Scheme. Darien Panama? Uh, Panama, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Panama. Panama is correct. A term coined in 1791 by the Irish-born artist Robert Barker to describe his large landscape paintings intended to be Panorama. exhibited in 360 degrees oh. on a cylindrical wall. Panorama. Correct. Derived from the Malay language, a group of nocturnal armoured mammals of the order Pangolin. Folidota, sometimes called the scaly anteaters. Pangolin. Correct. Yeah. With fewer than 30 copies still known to exist, the Dunlap broadsides are contemporaneously printed versions of which historical document? American Declaration of Independence. That's correct. Which novel of 1848 concludes with the words, Come, children, let us shut up the box and the puppets, for our play is played out. Its subtitle is A Novel Without a Hero. It's Vanity Fair. Correct. Good one. Vanity Fair features a ball in Brussels on the eve of which military engagement? Along with the Battle Waterloo. of Ligny, it is one of two preliminary battles to the Battle of Waterloo. Oh. Uh, Battle of Bruges. That's the Battle of Quatre Bras. And finally, described as a disrespectful playboy, which of the novel's characters is killed at the Battle of Waterloo? He shares his name with the former Chancellor of the Exchequer. George Osborne. George Osborne is correct. What planetary satellite has a distinctive network of dark cracks across its otherwise bright surface and a scarcity of impact? Europa. Europa is correct. Your bonuses are on a platonic solid. Plato's dialogue, Timaeus, assigns elements to four of the five regular platonic solids, except which one with the Schleifli symbol, brackets 5-3? Uh, 
five three. It's it's made of like triangles and yeah. pentagons. So what's that called? Dodecagon. No, it's dodecahedron. Oh, yeah. Bad luck. In his Mysterium Cosmographicum, Kepler fitted platonic solids between the orbits of the known planets. Which two were separated by the dodecahedron? Uh, Jupiter and Saturn. No, it was Earth and Mars. Hmm. How many direct symmetries does a regular dodecahedron have? Twelve. No, it's sixty. Sixty. Okay. Oh. Five of times here. twelve. Your picture start here. We're going to see the coat of arms of a European country's navy. For ten points, I want you to identify the country. Spain. Uh, Italy. Italy is mm. correct. Each quarter of the shield on the Italian navy's coat of arms. Have well, I been mispronouncing his last name? Is it Zoom? Once dominated the Mediterranean. My apologies if I have. Firstly, this maritime republic. Malta. Uh, that's Genoa. It is. Okay. Secondly. Naples. This is either Pisa or Amalfi. Go with Amalfi. No, you should have gone with Pisa. Yeah. Mm. Finally. Ven uh, Venice. Yeah. Venice is correct. Well done. In mythology and fiction, what particular attribute is said to be granted by all of the following? The cap or helmet of the Greek god Hades. Invisibility. Invisibility is correct. Meaning compartment or division. What short German term is used for a system of voice classification used to distinguish operatic roles? Pass. That's Fach. What term is Indeed used in is. the fax system for an elaborate soprano role characterized by trills and cadenzas? A notable example occurs in the so-called mad scene of Donizetti's Lucia di Lammermoor. Colorata. No, it's coloratura. Oh. First played by Mozart's sister-in-law, Josefa Hofer, which coloratura soprano role in the magic flute sings the aria known as the Revenge of Hell? Queen of the Night. Queen of the Night is correct. I need a two-digit number. Of the seven letters used in Roman numerals, three appear consecutively on a standard QWERTY keyboard. Taken in order, what decimal number does this combination represent? Uh... 56. Anyone want no. to pass from Reading? 1,049. No. No, it's 95. What XCV. Is this? A leading producer XCV. of vanilla and sapphires. It is a I was like scanning my keyboard Madagascar. and couldn't see Madagascar it. Madagascar is correct. Well, the three questions on the zoologist, Diane Fossey. Okay. In 1967, Fossey established the Karisoki Research Center for the study of gorillas in the Virunga Mountains region of which country? Virunga is the yeah. DRC. Rwanda. Rwanda is correct. I thought it was the other side. Secondly, born in Kenya I've been in 1993, Rwanda. I thought Virunga was on the was other side of the border. Of Diane Fossey, and to the scientists Birute Galdicus and Leakey. Jane Goodall. Louis Leakey is correct. Following Fossey's murder in 1985, the conservation fund she had founded was renamed in her honor. Which actress became its honorary chair in 1988? Meryl Streep. Is that going to be Sigourney Weaver? Sigourney Weaver would make more sense, yes. Sigourney Weaver is correct. Charlotte, Countess of Yarmouth, Charles Lennox, Duke of Richmond, and James Scott, Duke of Monmouth, were among the illegitimate children of which... Charles II. Charles II is correct. From an Italian Renaissance family, what name is given in topology to a system of three loops connected so that cutting any one loop leaves the other two unlinked? Medici. Uh, Cardano. No, it's Borromean rings. Similar in idea to a Borromean linkage, a system of subatomic particles in which a group of three is stable but a pair is not is named after which Soviet theoretician? Landau. No, it's Efimov. Observed in red giant stars, the triple alpha process features what specific isotope as a short-lived intermediary state? Is that going to be like tritium? Tritium makes sense. H3. Tritium. No, it's beryllium-8. Oh. Hmm. Siagraphy is a branch of the science of perspective that deals with the projection of what? Elections? No. In less common usages, the term may also refer to the science of radiography and to the making of sundials. Light. Chronology? No, it's shadows. Right. The white boy shuffle and the sellout are works by which... Imperial Sharif! Paul Beattie. Paul B.C. is correct. Your bonuses are on the so-called coloured cities of the Indian state of Rajasthan. Firstly, the city nicknamed the Pink City. After Jaipur. its ruler ordered buildings to be repainted pink. 
the Jaipur. colour of hospitality before a visit by the Prince of Wales in 1876. Is this Jodhpur or Jaipur? Jodhpur is the blue city, I think, so Jaipur would be the pink city. Uh, Jaipur. Jaipur is correct. Distinguished by its yellow sandstone architecture, the city known as the Golden City, secondly. It is dominated by a medieval fort noted for its appearance when viewed at sunrise and sunset. I don't know, this could be Udaipur or Ajmer or Bikaner or... Bikaner, I think, would be the... It's not Udaipur. I've been to Rajas... Bikaner. No, it's Jaisalmer. Jaisalmer. Nicknamed the Blue City after the buildings in its old quarters. Jodhpur. The city is situated on the edge of the Thar Desert. So Jodhpur. Jodhpur is correct. A single word is sufficient here. Also known as a reduction division. What is the term for nuclear division during the formation of gametes? Meiosis. Meiosis is correct. In each case, identify the regnal name shared by the following. Firstly, the second who gave his blessing to the Norman conquest of England, and the sixth, the father of Lucrezia Borgia. Alexander. Correct. Secondly, the third who decreed the second and final excommunication of Henry VIII, and the sixth who concluded the Second Vatican Council in 1965. Paul. Paul is correct. Finally, the eighth, who put Galileo on trial, and the second, who launched the first crusade. Urban. Urban is correct. Nice close match, I like it. Name the composer. Sanson. Sanson is correct. First quoted in The Elephant. Mendelssohn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn is correct. Secondly, again quoted in Fossils. Uh, uh, Rossini. Rossini is yeah. correct. And finally, parodied in tortoises. Yeah. Offenbach. Offenbach is correct. Yes. I'm blown away by segments like what that. What present day European country suffered three partitions in the later 18th? Uh, Poland. Poland is correct. Three bonuses on fate correspondence. In 1972, the US novelist and journalist Clifford Irving was convicted of forging letters in order to be commissioned to produce an autobiography, also fake, ostensibly of whom? 72? JFK. Shakespeare. No, it's Howard Hughes, oh, okay. which 8th century forgery claimed to be a historical document transferring control of the Western Roman Empire to the papacy yeah. under Sylvester I. Is it the donation of Constantine? Correct. And describing the fabrication of a series of emails, the song Sincerely Me comes from which musical, the winner of a Tony Award in 2017? Uh, Dear Evan Hansen. It is Dear Evan Hansen, yes. Imperial For a three-dimensional wave function in quantum mechanics, what quantity is obtained using the operator minus I... The Hamiltonian. No. What quantity is obtained using the operator minus I h-bar grad? Lagrangian. No, it's linear momentum. What six-letter word is used for both the verdigris-like layer that develops on the surface of weather... Imperial man. Patina. Patina. Patina is correct. All three answers are two word terms with the first word in common. Which branch of literary theory was developed principally by Stephen Greenblatt in the 1980s? It encouraged a return to analysing texts in relation to the context of their production. I want to say it's like new something, like new historicism. Do you want to go with that? Because I, I think don't... it's wrong. I think historicism is wrong, but new historicism. That is correct. Uh, well done. <laughs> Jeez. What English name is usually given to the realist art movement associated with Otto Dix and Georg Grotz? New objectivity. Which yeah. emerged in Germany mm. in the 1920s as a reaction against expressionism. New objectivity. That is correct. Influenced by writers such as Jane Jacobs and focusing on cities, what name is typically given to the design movement that advocates compact, mixed-use building development with an emphasis on walkability? Uh, Presumably it's new... Sustainable new urbanisation? Uh, new sustainability. No, it's new urbanism. In 1689, which two empires signed the Treaty of Nerchinsk? Russian Empire, Qing Empire. That is correct, yes. Russia and China identified the element from its anagram. Nine tenses is an anagram of the name of which transuranic element? The heaviest of the halogens. Tennessee. Tennessee is correct. 
Umber-like is an anagram of the name of which transuranic element named after a city in California? Berkelium. Berke yeah, yeah. Berkelium is correct. Finally, minute pun or minute pun is an anagram of the name of which actinide metal with the atomic number 93? Neptunium. Neptunium is correct. For your picture start, you will see a still from a documentary film. For 10 points, please name the musician pictured. Simone? Yes, it's Nina Simone. Well done. I should have said that. That was my thought. Name the performer in each case. Firstly, this front man. Aldous Redding? Hmm. Is it Little Richard? No, it's Sly Stone. Oh. Secondly, this blues musician. I want to say Chubby Checker, but that doesn't feel like the right era. Just because of the guitar, yeah. the red... B.B. King? B.B. King is yeah. correct. And finally, name either this group or just their lead singer. Gladys Knight and the Pips. No, it's not. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight and the Pips is correct. What surname is shared by two contemporaneous U.S. composers, one of whom wrote the score for the film The Magnificent Seven and the other the music for West Side Story. Sharif. Bernstein. That is correct. In each case, identify the poet from the description. Firstly, in the late 20s and early 30s, he caught native English poetry by the scruff of the neck, pushed its nose sharply into modernity. This poet died in 1973. Yes, Elliot. That's W.H. Auden. Her last poems represent themselves with all the pounce and irrefutability of a tiger lashing its tail. This poet died in 1963. Sylvia Plath? Sylvia Plath, yeah. right, yeah. Plath. Correct. His poetry is as redolent of the lair as it is of the library. This poet died in 1998. Larkin. That was Ted Hughes. Distinguished by large cheek pouches, what old world primate genus includes the snow monkey of Japan, the Barbary ape, and the recent... Imperial monkey? Jackson. Macaque. Macaque is correct. A centre of cheese making, which town near Cardiff is home to Britain's largest castle after... Care Philly. Or, did you, okay, just give me a guess. Uh, because of the like Barry, cheese making. Barry. No, it's Kefili. <laughs> Meaning fortress or stronghold, care, that's C-A-E-R, is the Welsh name of which English city, a former Roman legionary base? Is that going to be Chester? Chester is correct. The legionary fortress of Caerleon is situated on the river Usk, a few miles from which Welsh city? Newport, I assume. <laughs> Newport is correct, yes. <laughs> Of the elements of the P for Papa block of the periodic table, which has the lowest atomic number? Boron. Boron is correct. Still Life with Apples and Basket of Apples oh, are works by which artist born in Provence yes. in 1839? Mm -hmm. uh, Cézanne. Cézanne is correct. Which artist painting Swallows the Poisoned Apple depicts Walt Disney's Snow White as a middle-aged woman clutching her throat in agony? The work is a response to the 1937 Disney film. Lichtenstein? Rockwell. It's Paula Rago. Magritte's 1964 painting, The Son of Man, depicts a besuited man whose features are obscured by an apple. Mm -hmm. yeah. What headgear is he wearing? A bowler hat. A bowler hat. A bowler hat. Yeah. A bowler hat, of course. Described in the Acts of the Apostles, the riot of the silversmiths took place in which ancient city, later the site of the Library of Celsus? The dispute was led by makers of miniature shrines to Artemis. Ephesus. Ephesus is correct. These bonuses are on a surname. Founded by an eponymous New Zealander who died in 1970, which Formula One team is based at Woking in Surrey? McLaren? McLaren. 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 Yeah. McLaren is correct. Mm -hmm. The British geneticist Anne McLaren pioneered advances that led to human IVF, for what form of fertilization do the letters IV stand? In vitro. In vitro. Correct. In the mid 1970s, the impresario Malcolm McLaren was an unofficial manager of what US band? Its lineup Sex included Pistols. David Johansson. Sex Pistols. The New York Dolls is what I was thinking. Oh. It is a... <laughs> and that began... Wow. Congratulations, Imperial. You were a delight to watch as well. <laughs> so, Imperial College London take the first of the places in the semi finals and Reading University will have to fight again and win in order to qualify. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Well, it was close there for a while. And then, uh, man, Imperial just 
they're a machine. They're going to be tough to stop this year because I've thought the same thing about Reading when I've seen them in their earlier matches that they were they were just a runaway powerhouse, really tough to stop. And yet you put the two of them side by side, and there's certainly some luck every time. You know, I say this every time I react. There's the luck of the draw, etc. But but Imperials just like Maze has such a breadth of knowledge, it seems. And Zong, I guess, is how you pronounce it. I apologize that I've been getting it wrong so far. He's he's a strong number two, and yet all four of them participate well. You know, there's some some teams. You know, you 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 see some one someone ring in, and they ring in that one time, and it's the only time you see them or hear from them in the entire episode. And uh, Imperials just not like that. They're all incredibly active in discussions for those bonus points. And I feel like it makes a difference um, having that conversation before spitting out the answer, especially if you're not certain. Anyway, congrats to Imperial for becoming the first one, of, becoming the first semifinalist. Good luck to Reading in their next round, so they still have one more chance to make it. And I look forward to seeing all of you next week for the next in these quarterfinal matches that have been so much fun so far. Until then, everybody, take care. Stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.